Seriously? <sighs> what? No sugar. Yeah, dude, that's uh, just how I like it. But doesn't it taste like this water? Yeah, dude, dude, it's just, it's just how I like it, man. But um, do I have to explain why I like everything? Yes. <sighs> okay, fine. Alrighty, I guess I have to start a new series. Um, <laughs> so this is a new series called Why Do I Like This? So basically I just take a tune that I like and I break it down. Today we're going to start with Charlie Puth's Mother because when this tune came out, I absolutely loved it. it I love the groove, I love the, I love the simple melody, I love the pocket that it had, it's just awesome. Um, so yeah, let's, let's take a listen. Oh man, so just just that beginning. Like how do you not get hooked into that beginning? This is the genius of, of this guy, man. Um he takes he takes such simple elements, he puts them together and he he, he hooks you with them, he just goes, come in, come in. Come to Charlie, and, <laughs> and I just like in this one is the groove is the groove is everything in this one. So, and when you have when you have something that grooves like this, it's very clever. Well, well, something that I think they do that's very clever here in the production is that they have it very bare in terms of instruments. So you have three instruments coming in one at a time, and from the get go, they're all they all three of them are very fat. And all three of them are grooving like crazy, setting up this crazy pocket that comes in on the first sort of drop in the chorus. And yeah, man, it's just, it builds insane excitement, especially when now we're going into this B section where you sort of, so in the first bit, you set up this. So you've got this key center F sharp, which is like. So one, one, flat seven, seven to four. So you've got all these elements setting up this crazy pocket that gets you really excited for the first drop of the chorus. And now watch what he does with the harmony to build that excitement even more just before he tips you over the edge to drop. So just like in the first, in the first 30 seconds, all this musical information is just like there, ready, working, put together in careful elements just to get you excited about it. So he's gone from this very diatonic, he's gone from this very diatonic palette of, of F sharp to E to B, and he's gone to B minor to C sharp minor, so minor five, Back to the flat seven, which acts sort of as a as a. I, I, I would I would argue it acts as a backdoor two five to. Back to your. Back to your back to your one. So sort of that, that classic flat six flat six flat seven one, kind of thing. It's it's really subtle little things, but it's it's so effective, especially when you add the. Add the crazy production that Charlie always has on his tunes to these things. So even so, in the chorus now, that's the first time you hear any kind of drum, drum sound with that little snare, and even. Within the chorus to keep the to keep the interest, the first half of the chorus doesn't have that really cool guitar riff that the second half does. So you've heard this melody, so if you've heard that, so you make sure you hear that melody once as clearly as possible, and then he builds excitement around the elements, 
Oh man, this is so cool. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm probably cut a lot of me just vibing there, but like, the <laughs> it's just like this is this is my thing. This is my thing with Charlie, and what I love about pop music in general is he he takes very very simple elements, like musically. If you put it in context of what you can do, you know, we sit as these people who who know music and study music and love it, and we we sit with our with our fancy. Our fancy chords and our fancy rhythms and all these things, and what what he does for me as as a pop artist, what, what he does really really well is he takes very interesting elements. So like that that twelve eight groove is as perfect. Like for me, that that, that twelve eight groove is perfect. Like you can't, I can't imagine someone playing a twelve eight groove with more pocket than that. Not not in this context at least, and he takes that twelve eight groove having an interesting, interesting elements working against it, having an interesting harmony to build up that tension, and then just releasing it in such a, such a satisfying way. And then also just two simple little melodies. Like, and I'm pretty sure, let me see. He even, he reuses the bass line in, in part of the chorus, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. Next time that you see me, she would look like she don't know. Yeah, it's like it's a couple of a couple of good strong melodies and a good strong bass line put together to make an absolute banger. For me, this is one of his best songs in my opinion. And yeah, um, I just thought that was really cool. Um, I'm trying to see if there's nothing in this. I just want to see if there's something else I missed that I want to chat about quickly. And also, he just follows that... He follows that really good universal music rule where you have... First of all, you have a, a pretty planned climax, but also you you keep the song interesting. So there's a, there's a clean line from top to bottom. So even like in the production, like I'm pretty sure I heard now, like the first snare that he uses in the first chorus is quite, it's quite small. It's not that big. It's, it's sort of like, like to, 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 put, to put it like in, I know this is going to sound a little stupid, but like it feels like the first, the first snare feels like I'm, I'm doing this. And now he's got like, now it sounds like that snare in this, in this, I think this is the last chorus now. It sounds like that snare is doing this. It sounds, you can hear, there's like a splash to it. It sounds fat, it's, it's splashier, it's louder. And what he's, what he's doing musically is really, is really clever there, where he's just going, okay, cool. So I've got this, I've got a simple melody that's building up this thing that can get stuck in your head and you can enjoy and it's fun and playful. But I'm going to color it in an interesting way from top to, from front to back so that the whole time you're sitting there and you're hooked in it and it's just that's genius like a lot of like don't get me wrong a lot of other pop stars do this as well and they do it just as well like I can think of um, like Ari does this great Billy does this great Bruno is amazing at this as well just for me Charlie I find um, I just I just personally find Charlie very easy to break down and also, he has my heart because he's a he's a jazz boy as well. Um, but yeah, I just I really enjoy the way Charlie works. Like, there's something specific about the way that he works that I just find very easy to to understand. As like, oh, okay, I can see exactly how he did that. That's awesome. And um, yeah, so that's that's why I like Charlie Puth's song called Mother. Um, yeah, I think that's all I have to say about it. Let me let me have one listen. One more listen. Yeah, even so like the like even like the um like in the beginning he has like this very like I think they they call it they call it like a TV sound where it's very like on his voice. At least it sounds like to me. Do you 
it's such a nice Yeah, yeah, it sounds, like, it sounds almost like that old TV effect that, that you can do on Final Cut and those type of things. I might, I might do it to my voice a little bit here, just to explain. But, um, yeah, and then at, by the end, when he, wants to have, when he wants to have that main center melody in the production, it's pretty clean and definitely, like, clean, layered, strong. Yeah, that effect's not there anymore. And if it is, if it is it's, it's difficult to tell because there's just so much air moving. Um, it's just everything, everything about Charlie's music, like, okay, just going back to why I like it so much, like, everything about his music feels so purposeful and just well-crafted to achieve its purpose. And for me, that's that's kind of music I'll always dig. I love, I love when musicians do that. Um, so yeah, that that was why I like Charlie Puth's mother. I think I've said that a couple of times now, but we'll see. This is kind of an impromptu episode, just checking out checking out this vibe, see if I dig it. Um, I hope you guys did as well. Um, thanks so much for all the love on my previous two videos. Um, the one with me and Calvin, Callum and I in the park, and um, me singing, I'll sing a comment. <laughs> So yeah, basically I just, I'm, I'm trying to post a bit more and I'm really enjoying it. So yes, I'll see you all soon. I uh, hope you enjoy it. Feel free to like and subscribe and cheers, cheers. Seriously? What? No sugar. Yeah, dude, that's just how I like it. But doesn't it taste like this one? This one? Yeah, dude, that's just how I like it. Why does it fuck me? It's just simple. It's dishwater. Ah. It's simple dishwater. In fairness, so this, just does, this does taste like dishwasher. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell?